how's it going everybody so this is a spectacular animal here this is a ambon scorpion fish now let me first tell you why is this animal so spectacular well have you you know visually passed what the fish is well obviously it's this reddish creature in the middle which is now moving to the left and it looks like a ball of algae and that's very much on purpose now the Ambon scorpion fish is really a master of camouflage. So this I filmed as most of my videos here really in Darwin on Negros Island in the Philippines and this is in the shallows. So this is not deeper than I believe about six meters and you can see in the sandy areas there are these balls of filamentous algae because even at a depth of a couple of meters in this tropical underwater environment, there's a lot of sunlight. So just, you know, four or five or six meters of water does not filter that much sunlight in terms of the strength. So these algae grow. And then this Ambon scorpion fish pretends to be a piece of algae. And not only does it pretend that in terms of its looks, its shape, but also in the way in which it moves. So it rolls around as if it was just a passive ball of algae. It doesn't really swim much and it just walks in this very irregular manner. So here you can see a close-up. As the name implies, this is of course a scorpion fish. Hence the spines of its dorsal fin, obviously that's the fin coming off its back, they are venomous. And so this fish is really not uh, leaving anything to chance. <laughs> it's venomous, but probably most predators will not realize that this is even a fish. And you have to realize that the human visual system is, is this highly evolved system which is excellent at parsing the visual environment whereas you know fish obviously clever animals fish are not stupid but they are the visual system doesn't have all these areas like the human ones so they they might not pass at all that this is not a ball of algae so again you see both the morphology of the fish as well as how it moves so there's this primacy of behavior in motion that you know if that fish would actually swim around like you know many other fish in mid-water the whole camouflage wouldn't be nearly as effective as it is now now we have another fish which is phylogenetically completely unrelated to the ambon scorpion fish so this is a hairy frog fish this is a, a totally different lineage of bony fishes. However, it uses the same camouflage. All this hair, and this fish uses it both for uh, protection as well as to deceive potential small prey fish, which don't realize that this object is actually a fish. Now we have another here actually of small fish which do exactly the same thing so these are robust ghost pipe fish and they don't camouflage as pieces of filamentous algae but they camouflage as pieces of detached seaweed and you can see the same thing here the morphology the shape of this small fish goes hand in hand with the with the behavior with the way how they move so if you see these they don't uh, dart around like a jack or a grouper but you know they, they very much move in the direction in which they want to move but they do it in a way so that they look like pieces of seaweed again morphology shape and fish behavior go hand in hand with the camouflage in the muck. Now, believe it or not, all the footage in this video is from a single dive. And during that dive, we also saw this goby, which might be an ancestor gobius, but I'm not actually sure. So there's this whole collection 
of small brownish gobies, highly camouflaged in the sand in Darwin. And I'm, uh, some of them are really rare and I'm not actually sure about the exact ID for this fish. So, you know, really another goodie. Now, where there's heaven, there's hell. And there's all this plastic trash in the ocean. So here we have a box fish. And is the box fish aware what it's facing here? Uh, and in the front there is a small sand perch. So both of these have made this, you know, mini artificial reef of that Coca-Cola bottle, their home. The Coke bottle next to that rock, you know. They are probably not terribly bothered by the fact that this is a piece of human trash, but it's a negative thing. And this is happening too often that I encounter plastic trash underwater. Now, finally, what do we have here? We have a cuttlefish. So I do actually believe that you can divide humanity into people who have seen a living behaving thinking cephalopod like this cuttlefish here and um, other people who have only seen them as calamari fritti in the italian restaurant so these are highly complex animals and whenever we encounter them it's really just as much as we're checking them out they're checking us out and so these elevated arms this is somewhat of a threat gesture and you know after a while actually it lowered the arm so fascinating to think that these are relatives of you know rather simple-minded and dumb snails like this cassis here and all of this was from one dive amazing really okay so since you made it that far in the video you probably liked it so you might as well support the channel by subscribing because there's going to be much more in terms of under video water videography in the next couple of weeks and i'm also planning to finally edit together a few more you know general philippine travel advice videos so maybe you enjoy these too and yeah maybe send me a super like highly appreciate it if you do if you would like to check out my books all the links are in the description so coming out soon will be 25 future dives together with james reimer with asian geographic and that's a book about environmental problems in the ocean explained as dive briefings i have high hopes for this one that it entertains and educates and of course there's the life of gobies if you actually like gobies uh like the, the you know obviously there were some in this video and then there is your brain on diving which is about hyperbaric physiology and neuroscience so what happens if your brain is subject to high pressures like during a scuba dive or a apnea dive yeah check that out and check back soon thank you